I'll be trying to make a whistle from these coconut branches. This is one of the things we used to do when we were younger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut one of this here. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to try. It. I'm going to take it inside the house and try to make it. So this is this is the part I will use to make that whistle from a coconut branch. Now in order to make this whistle you would need to use this part here and the broom itself to do it. So firstly we're gonna have to strip this along the, the broom and you'll end up with like three parts we will need. One part is the tongue, and then we will wrap this this here around the tongue, and at the end we'll use the broom to tie it off. Now, right now I will be stripping this thing here. So now we end up with this broom and we'll cut it with this like this and make a point. Just strip it down like this. Now this is one part. This will use at the end to tie that branch. Now we will cut the tongue as we call it. We take this two and we make even lengths on it. Like this. Yeah, average like a length of about um, about one and a half inches or to two inches. So here we are. Now, this is called a tongue, and then you use one of this, and we're gonna wrap it around the tongue like this. You start from the smaller end, so let's cut it probably here. You need a length of the size here. And we're gonna attempt to make this whistle. So this is the two pieces. You put it on top of one another. With you can see like a this will have like a little space in between. See like that. So we're gonna start a rabbit. Use a small end. Do it. And here we go. Keep wrapping like this. See it's taking shape there. You try to make it compact and stiff.
No, we finish. That's the shape you're gonna be in. So what we need to do now is to just get this this piece of broom and stick it through here. Now this this holds it in place. And now you press it like this and then I'm gonna be blowing it now. I have that's one of them. And here I have another one. I just need. So I've got two of these whistles made from coconut branches. 